I think I've been to about 10 different schools before I got to the 9th grade. I was always the new kid and being a small nerdy Asian guy that didn't speak English meant that I was always too busy fending off bullies to make any friends. And kids can be cruel. But in 6th grade I had one friend. And his name was... Barney! What's up man? How much? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Well, you like sound exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do too, though. Uh, yeah. your voice changed a little bit. Yeah, probably. I, I think your voice got a little deeper than before. Yeah, hopefully. But your Yours speech got a little deeper. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, it sounded just like you. Yeah, that's funny. Well, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. This is like the original cannery stuff. Uh, back when this building was an actual like sardine cannery, which is what this oh, whole really? strip of buildings used to be. But they so overfished all the sardines out of the bay that they completely collapsed the sardine fishery and oh, wow. went out of business. And then this became like a dilapidated, uh, like almost a ghost town of old factories where like homeless people lived, and and then they kind of like rejuvenated it, and eventually this place opened and now they're trying to rejuvenate and yeah this it's a sardine population ever come back yeah it's bad <laughs> okay that's good see barney's always been into fish so it was cool to find out that he's now working at an aquarium they just like eat other fish yeah that's kind of scary yeah right it's like a riding mass the story of monterey bay is a story of resilience starting from the decimation of the otter population for their pelt to the overfishing that led to the eventual collapse of the sardine canneries. Monterey Bay managed to recover to the national marine sanctuary it is today. This place At looks the forefront like, um, of all this was the creation of the, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs> well, like a fishery. <laughs> it doesn't look like an aquarium. It's not pretty and colorful like an aquarium right, that yeah, I would think. Yeah, like like the time of the year where the molas are here, the sunfish, mm -hmm. and the sea lions like to attack and harass them. <laughs> so they will like eat their fins. Oh man. <laughs> Animals are jerks. Yeah, Little kids love this room. Like if you come here in the summertime, it's pretty much like non-stop kids screaming under here all day long. Yeah. They used to be called African Jackass Penguins because they sound like donkeys, but <laughs> that's right. people don't call them that anymore. I think they might be sardines. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a crowd. <laughs> Bought a drone off of Angus and got it stuck in the mouth. <laughs> I guess if we were uh, still living near each other, we would have been doing the same thing anyways. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We seem to have similar hobbies anyway. <laughs> yeah, is this real? <laughs> yeah. Dude, this place is so much cooler than the Georgia Aquarium. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Looks cool though. It is cool. <laughs> Makes for great art. Yeah. Hey, cool. I don't know if this is a. <laughs> I think it might actually encourage them. Yeah, right. Look at all this cool stuff you can do with plastic. Yeah. You can make it swirl. <laughs> yeah. Make figures. Some of the power bumps for like 10 seconds and these guys get under the sand for like three days after that everything. So the coolest gallery is yeah. called Tentacles. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's that's cool. <laughs> it's very artsy. By myself so it doesn't have to be nice. <laughs> You're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, they're super smart. Yeah. Yeah, they're like looking at each other. Yeah, it's yeah, actually following you. <laughs> it's like it's fancy. There used to be eggs in here all the time. I got to go behind the scenes and see how they make full use of the ocean's water to create a sustainable environment for the aquarium. Kind of like the spot of the bolt, the big circle. Luke here's got hammerheads go by down there. Yeah, I see him. The big gyre. Basically goes, you see the water upwelling here. 
because water's probably blowing in a bee, it's blowing in a circle. <laughs> Poor guys, they're sandwiched. <laughs> so, it, otherwise, if you had like a normal tank, they get trapped in the 90 degree corners. Yeah. Like, that giant giant space you saw before. Oh, that all our cool. side. Uh, this thing by itself is doing like over 15,000 data points and monitors in real time. So you guys are just monitoring this all day? Every well, day. no, we do look, basically we have, we monitor this all day, but we have our jobs on the floor are always constant. So there's preventive maintenance, there's, there's rebuilds, there's all, the whole building the whole is constant work. Yeah. I mean, uh. And we're not like we have the seawater, we also have HVAC, so heating, ventilation, air conditioning, cooling is all ours too. We have a 3.5 million gallon a year desalination plant behind these buildings over here to so make our own fresh water. Mm -hmm. For toilets, deck hoses, some process water wow. for building, so we do all that. Yeah, we have a day of ten thousand people with like three point five gallons for flush. You could have a launch ground within five miles. What great <laughs> water for anybody? All right, thirteen point eight volt cars, and they ran this thing for thirty six years. Wow, I mean, they, they did their thing. They didn't run well. They definitely had Alzheimer's for last you know. year. <laughs> I didn't even get to see the research facility that I originally came here to see. I suppose that was just an excuse to get me out here. This is a Xiaomi? <laughs> That's as much as I know about this phone. Okay. So it's good. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, it was good. <laughs> good to see you, man. Yeah. Goodbyes are always hard. Who knows when I'll ever see him again. Maybe in another 20 years. Hopefully sooner. We both wanted to retire in Tampa, so I guess we'll have that. Hostel International, so this is the place. Uh, looking to get a bed? I don't have a reservation.